Hey, this is Nils. Quick video tutorial here on how to replace the toilet handle if that breaks on your toilet. So, as you can see here, got a limp toilet handle, it's not doing anything. If we take off the lid here, looking under the lid, you can see in this case that the uh, handle piece seems to have broken off completely. And if we look a little further down here, down at the bottom of the tank, we've got, there's the handle. It's connected to a chain, which is connected to the flapper. And so the, uh, the bar here that acts as a lever to lift up the chain appears to have broken off completely from the handle. So if that's the same problem you're experiencing, it's a pretty easy fix. Um, I went ahead and bought the new, new part for that. So first thing we want to do is take off this piece here. And this goes contrary to the standard uh, righty tidy lefty loosey for some reason. So it's righty loosey lefty tidy. So I'm going to take that off. Take out the handle. Notice the handle, there's a square hole here, and then the, uh, the piece here has a square fitting around it, right there. And that's so that when you put it inside the porcelain, it will stay in place and just the handle will move while the shaft stays in place. So we're going to set that aside, that's garbage at this point. And then, now this water in here, by the way, is clean. This isn't uh, dirty water like what's inside the bowl of the toilet. This is always clean stuff that's coming in. And so I'm going to reach in there and grab the stick. And then I've got to take out the, um, or disconnect the chain that's on here. So right here on the end, I've got a chain. I'm just going to slide that off like that. Um, we can drop this or whatever, but this piece is garbage now, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then next, um, I've got my new piece here. So this new piece, see if I can get this in focus here. All right, so this new piece here um, is working the way it should. Obviously, it would be facing this direction. And so it comes with a little washer. So I'm going to thread this in all the way through like so. And then again, it's got a, a, pla a square plastic uh, section there. And so I want to make sure that, that pla the square is fitted inside properly. And then I'll just slide the washer on and tighten it up backwards. And then it's just a matter of getting the chain connected and making sure it's the right uh, length. Where's that chain? There it is. Okay. Let me move the camera over a little bit. Okay, so I've got the chain. And what we want to do is set the chain there. You can't see it here from this angle, but there's a hole here, a hole here, and one back here. And so I'm going to try leaving it at the same setting as the other one was. That will usually do the trick. We'll see if it will here. So just by putting it right on that end hole, which I cannot see. There, is that it? There we go. Well, there's one anyway. Okay, so now, for your flush. So it's all, I'm flush, I'm pushing all the way down, but the chain's still a little slack here. So we need to uh, take it up a couple of links. This is very easy to do. Just need to see if this is visible on the camera here. There we go. Okay, so right now, right here, we're just going to slide this one end off. It's on pretty tight, but it'll come off. There we go. And then move it down a few links. Just get it to hook. And that sound is just the flapper coming up. There we go, I got it hooked. I'm gonna put it back through, test it out. Okay, good. So we just want it to where that flapper hangs out up top like, it, like it's doing there, and it'll let itself down. We gotta make sure that the chain doesn't get stuck underneath it. And it looks like it did not, so that's good. So then we're all set. We put the uh, porcelain top back on.
And that is how we fix a broken handle.